Hi everyone, this is Debbie from Deb's Thing. I'm not doing a tutorial right now. I'm just going to do a quick preview of um, bracelets I've been working on uh, so that you can see what I will be posting or uploading onto YouTube in a short while. This is called Du Côté, which is French for two sides. Um, I kind of, I just played around with like doing some of the looming and then adding more bands and looming it, you know, continued on doing the looming. So this is one side and then this is the other side. So it looks completely different. So it is a totally reversible, thus du côté. Uh, this is an old design I called coquette. I love the French words. Um, I made this, you know, this was um, previewed in part one of my um, introduction to my designs way back um, May of last year. So that will be coming up at some point. I'm just doing these in random order. Um, I did this one, I call it stitches. I'm pretty sure I went online and didn't see um, anything actually called just stitches. I mean, I've done a couple in stitches and I don't know, Stitch in Time, I think, is another of mine. But uh, I really liked how this came out. And then, for those who don't, this is a five bar, or I should say, this is f four bars wide, as is Ducote. This is five bars. Then I wanted to do something similar because I really liked how it came out so much that. Um, I did Lil Stitch, which is three bars, and I, I really like how it came out, and I like these colors, too. And this is a real oldie. I, I made this tutorial ages ago, but for some reason I've just never posted it, and it is one of my, you know, original introduction to my original design series, and I call it Tropical Impression. And then, let's see what else we have. Oh, another oldie but goodie is this. It's called Peppy. And it only takes two bars. Oh, Tropical Impression took four. I forgot to say. This is another one. It's so basic. It. I thought it looked like um, oh, barcode. Oh my gosh. What's her name? Uh, Adele. I believe Adele did it, um, but I realized mine is a little different, and this was 2R, previewed in part one of my original designs, um, and this is a four bar wide Acropora, which is a type of coral, and I named it such because my daughter thought, um, like the blue here, kind of looked like little clumps of coral, so that is coming up. This one I don't have a name for and I made it so many times because I was just like, I don't know. I just love how this, the bands go together, the stitching, but like on this one, they're not all, like they're kind of twisted, but doing the little, like trying to go like this and straighten them out is not working. But it's interesting to me, so this is still in uh, in work, I guess. There's that. This one I just love. And it was in part two of my original introduction to my original designs. I call it Rack and Pinion. I think it's such a cool name. This is like the rack and this is like the pinion. Um, for those who are mechanical understand what it is. Those who are not look online like I did. I'm, I am mechanically inclined. I was a jet mechanic in the Air Force, um, but I never had to deal with anything to do with rack and pinion. But yeah, I really, I really like how this one came out. Well, I like them all, or I wouldn't be showing you them. Let's see. Um, and then this one. <laughs> I've had so much trouble. You can see how many times I've made it. Um, this was the original way. 
deficiency. And then I accidentally changed it and it came out like this. So if you can see the um, salmon colored or the peach, you see that they're a little different. This one kind of goes behind the gray and this one goes across. So I call it dueling banjos because I could not decide which form of the design I like the best and um, yeah, I made it a few times. And then let's see what else do we have. Okay, uh, I have my last two. This one I'm calling Banjo because um, Banjo is French for bands. <laughs> and um, Jays, I love you Jays. Um, and I had thought on my Mei Ling that I had come up with this this um, stitch and um, Jay said Jay had used it in his um, oh my gosh um, oh, I had the name in my head so I wouldn't forget it oh anyways you know which one I'm talking about but you know what Jay's I never watched that video so it's just another coincidence that I came you know up with this and why I was so convinced that it was, I thought it was new to me um, or something I came up with is way back in early designs um, this one called Cir Circlet this is pretty much that that cuff stitch except that I had did a figure eight and instead of bringing the bands this way and then this way I brought I crisscrossed the bands you know they're, they're the ones that are underneath you place them first and then you reach under and place those you'll have to, just check this out my circlet and you'll see how I um, resolved these bands um, which they're hard to see because they're so thin but see they're, they're they're very similar to the cufflet basically the same so um, I love this I just think it looks so so cool I just really I love the way these um, the bands you know just are so neatly placed and uh, what Jay refers to as the cuff cuff stitch oh, my brain and then finally I just did this one which is similar but not the same as the as the bandeau I haven't named this one yet but if you can see these middle bands are wider um, they still look like the cuff stitch but I had actually done that back on my Fiesta tutorial as you can see the dark blue here so I thought I would um, play around with this you know wider looking band as opposed to it just going across two pins this is across three so I haven't named this one yet as I just finished it I did oops Sorry about that. It's an alarm going off. So here, this is my most recent design. So anyhow, before this gets too long, I probably can't upload it um, on Instagram because it might be too long. Uh, this is what I'm working on, and uh, I do have some of them finished and ready to, you know, to upload it to YouTube. I just haven't done the little fancy pictures you have to make so you can post them on Instagram. So I'm working on it slowly but surely. Most of you know um, my pace is much slower than normal and I do what I can when I can and unfortunately as with um, ah Jay's tutorial which I didn't watch and didn't do his design um, I'm afraid it's either a choice of creating my own designs or making your, you know, watching and making your designs. So I'm, I really apologize for not being, you know, a, a bigger participant in all that. But I do what I can. And the creative bug hits me and it takes up most of my time. I love you all. Thanks for watching.